Hi, it's Realtor Mike Thomas again talking to you about our housing market predictions for 2022. Everybody's wondering about that. Everybody's asking me about what's the market like uh, next year in 2022. And I'm going to give you some pretty great insights. Some things will probably shock you. There's some shocking truths that I'm going to reveal to you towards the end of this video. So please stay tuned to the end of the video and uh, it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, so let's get started. Um, I was a top level executive for the largest home builder in the United States. Um, I am currently a real estate broker associate with a, a prominent real estate company here in South Florida. And I've been in the business for almost 30 years. So I've seen a couple market crashes. Uh, everybody's talking about a market crash, but I'm going to explain a few things to you that will blow your mind. Things that no one else has mentioned before, not even talked about, not even, not even touch the surface on okay so let's talk real estate real estate is land okay that is the definition of real estate and if you put a house on that land it's considered an improvement if you put a townhouse or a condominium a trailer uh, uh, anything that you put on that land utilities roads no matter what you put on that land uh, it is considered to be an improvement so the people out there, and there are some prominent people, even authors, book authors, um, that write financial books that talk about real estate, and I'm just shaking my head going, wow, what a bunch of bull that is. I've never seen so many people with different opinions on something, and of course this is my opinion on uh, the real estate market, which is going to be a totally different view of what you've been hearing out there, okay? So first of all, we know that real estate is land. The second of all is, is a buyer's market, what is a seller's market, okay? So a market is supply and demand. That's all it is. And if you, there is very little supply and a lot of demand, then it's a seller's market. And if there is a lot of supply and very little demand for that, then it's a buyer's market. So that's all that is. Some states are in a buyer's market. Some states are in a seller's market. It depends on what's going on. Right now here in South Florida, it's a hot market. And real estate prices are going up very quickly. But there's a reason for that. It's because people from New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, uh, Chicago area, are moving down to Florida permanently. And that's the reason it is in high demand. Florida's in high demand, that's why it's on fire. Not because the market is crashing, not because we're in a real estate bubble or anything like that. If you want a good deal right now, go to New York, uh, go to New Jersey. The taxes are high, the property values are you know way up there. You don't get much for your money. Uh, Florida is a tropical climate and people love to be down here uh, where they don't have to shovel snow, where they don't have to deal with ice and cold weather conditions or anything like that. So with that said, why are prices going up here in Florida? The prices are going up because of COVID-19. COVID-19 was introduced in December of 2019. So real estate keeps going up. And why is the inventory low? Well, what happened is when COVID-19 was uh, introduced to the United States and everybody said, oh my God, this is a pandemic. We all need to wear masks. We need to get vaccinated. There was no vaccine at that time. So all the sellers decided, I'm not gonna show my house. Just not gonna do it. So what happened was, all the serious sellers kept their homes on the market, but the sellers that were kind of, I can move or not move either way, decided they weren't going to show their house because they didn't want anybody bringing COVID into their home. And buyers, they also required buyers to wear masks, even wear booties on their shoes, 
uh, before entering homes, buyers that were not serious, weren't out looking at houses. You know, a lot of times you drive through the neighborhood and say, oh, there's an open house, let me pull in there. There were no open houses. And so that's the reason why the inventory is low here in Florida. Uh, not because everybody bought up all of the houses here and there's nothing left. It's because people were taking precautions during COVID-19. Plus, they were also working from home. So the people thought, wow, I'm now working from home. Let me get a home equity line of credit and let me fix up the house. And while they were doing these major improvements to their homes, putting in new kitchens, new bathrooms, new flooring, new tile, um, you know, painting the house, new landscaping, while they were pouring all this money into their home because that's where they were spending most of their time, the property values increased because of it. So that's the reason Florida real estate has gone up. Plus, we also live in Palm Beach County. Uh, we had to deal with Air Force One coming in um, into Palm Beach International Airport all the time. And so uh, that drew a lot of attention to our county. So with that said and done, those are the reasons why the real estate is so high or is going up is because of all the home improvements, uh, the demand for real estate and it's basically a demand for anything anytime uh, somebody wants to buy it the prices go up if nobody wants to buy it they start putting it on sale they want to get rid of it and that's what we have to keep in mind and the third factor right now that's going on is the interest rates everybody's going oh my god the interest rates going up and if market and if the land values come down which they're not. Land values have actually gone up 6% nationally uh, over the last year in residential uh, land values. Okay, so we're not talking about agriculture. We're not talking about commercial properties. We're talking about where we're going to build houses on. And so therefore, it's up 6%. Uh, land prices are not falling. Interest rates are steady and they're not going up. They may go up a little bit, but it's not because the federal, the feds are raising the interest rates. It is because um, they're doing some, they're not buying enough bonds. The federal government is not buying enough bonds, causing the interest rate to go up. It's not because the feds are raising the interest rate. So you may see a slight increase in interest rates. I don't think it's gonna be anything significant um, unless they just stop buying bonds altogether, it may impact uh, things quite a bit, but I don't see that coming. Uh, they've never done that before, and there's no reason why they would stop. So my market prediction for 2022 is that there is no real estate crash, as everybody, all the doom and gloom people are saying that, oh my God, everything's going to come tumbling down. Uh, it's been a while. Florida was actually undervalued for the longest time. Um, for the amount of money that you can get for real estate here. Uh, and there's still deals out there. Uh, if you want, call my office and we'll get you taken care of if you want to plan to live um, in South Florida. Southeast Florida. Um, so let us know if you have any questions. If you like this video... Please subscribe, share the love, uh, give us the like, uh, leave a comment down below, tell us what you're thinking, and um, be the hero and share this video with all your friends and family on your social media.